paralysed by the unofficial strike of road haulage men, London's meat, fish and vegetable markets lie deserted as the food distributing machinery comes to a full stop. Demands by the lorry drivers for wage increases, reduced hours and improved working conditions have brought about the crisis which threatened all essential food supplies. At Smithfield, half a week's meat ration for 12 million people was held up while the strikers gathered around their idle lorries to await new developments. A major crisis for the British housewife and then good news for the government order calling in the assistance of the troops. In record time, an army camp appeared on Clapham Common, already given the appropriate nickname of Hungry Hill. Prisoners of war helped in building huts and cookhouses as preparations went ahead for the army's new job. And now the convoys come to town as the troops begin the opening stage of Operation Eatable. General Lloyd, GOC London District, was an early arrival at Smithfield where porters and shopmen acted on their threat to walk out the moment the troops took over. But as always, Tom is equal to any crisis and with walkie-talkie radios keeping in touch with HQ, the army goes to work with a will, shouldering carcasses instead of kit bags for a change. First and most important job was to clear the present stocks of meat, load them up and rush them to the empty butcher shops. Not at all bashful under the eyes of so many professionals, the troops just get on with doing a fine job for the folks at home. Yes, once again we owe our thanks to the grand boys in khaki who've brought all their cheery efficiency and good humour to a time of national emergency. <laughs> 